25 cents into 344.99 now that is a bolo or about $2,500 for all three of all of these incredible brooches coming soon. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Time reseller. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. In this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. In this video, we are talking about bolos from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you're not in it, definitely go and check it out. I will link it down below. It is under my link tree and you can go and follow the Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Share under the share post, which looks like this, and it will be under the featured section. So that will change each month to, like right now it says May, it will change to June, and the colors will change, but it will always be under the featured section. So definitely go and share a Bolo. So let's start with the first one here. In this video, I'm gonna tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Sometimes there's a little more information given, but we are just going to dig in and see what these bolos are. I always learn so much from these videos. Thank you to everybody that has shared and let's get started. Hi, Courtney. I bought these plastic hand puppets at an estate sale. It was a bulk price for my pile. So I ended up paying about a dollar a piece. They were, I'm sorry, there were about 10 puppets in all. I was mainly interested in the Wizard of Oz and Wicked Witch of the West puppets, which ended up selling for 15 each, or 15. When I got home, I noticed they were made of really thin plastic and I almost threw them out, but I figured I have to make my money back. So I'll put them up for auction and hopefully at least get a bid and make a little money. I started Kato or Kato, K-A-T-O, off at $9.99 and Casey and Mike at $4.99. The first day I received bids on all three and someone offered 250 for Casey and 250 for Cato. So you know when there is a bid, you can't change the field. So luckily, I couldn't send the $250 offers. I am still stunned at how much they sold for, about $2,500 for all three. The buyers paid almost immediately. As a bonus, there were two Mike Axford, and I just listed the duplicate for $999. Buy it now. There is by this is by far my best sale in four years. This is so exciting. Um, I recently did a video on puppets. It looks like this. If you guys missed it, I will link it down below. These are mentioned in my puppets video, but there are so many other puppets that you may not know about. So definitely check out that video. So right here is the Green Hornet Casey Plastic Plastic Hand Puppet Greenway Productions from 1966. This sold for $1,287 and she got that at an, uh, was it an estate sale? For a dollar a piece. Ah, crazy. All right. Let's see. Here is another one. This one sold for $810. This one sold for $417.99. So they do all kind of vary in prices, but big money, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Way to start the video, right? Ouch. Okay. Did I just say, ouch? What does that even mean? <laughs> All right. Picked this up at the Goodwill Benz for $3. Had it listed for a while, months, with no interest. So then use Google Lens to search for similar image and then change the title and it sold in maybe a couple of weeks after revising the title. Took a best offer of $49. Buyer paid sh shipping. Love the Goodwill outlet. So this is a Nixon Women's Smith's Convertible Leather Crossbody Clutch Bag Concealed Carry. So I'm not sure if they added the word concealed carry. They didn't really specify which words were added to help the item sell. But um, yeah, changing your keywords around on stale listings can definitely help. I don't do it because I don't have time. 
I'm a list it and forget it, but I definitely think it could help me out as well. So that's a great tip. I picked this up at a local thrift store for $149.99 and sold it on eBay for $1,450. This is what it looks like. It is a Thomas Ville's Ernest Hemingway's Trout Glass Top End Table. So this guy is known for selling Ethan Allen stuff. So I don't think this is Ethan Allen. So he just knows what to look for. 150 into 1450. Bam. Check it out. Wow, we are now we are at ouch and bam. We are we are getting the words in tonight. Woo! All right, paid a dollar for this pair of pillowcases at a thrift store. They sat and sat in my money pile for probably two years. Listed and they sold within a couple of days for a best offer of $42.50 plus shipping. This is what they look like. They are vintage Wamsuta Japanese kimono floral percal standard pillowcases set of two. And that's what they look like. Vintage pillowcases can definitely be a bolo. Oh my goodness, I love this. Next cutie, if you don't know, I love selling plush. April bolos, Fisher Price Wild Puffalumps White Blue Panda Bear, no glasses, from 1987. Not a high dollar profit, but a quick return. Bought for $1.49 at the thrift store because, bought because Courtney of Bolo Buddies said they are a good pickup. Wasn't a big profit, so was going to return. Also found out it was missing the glasses. Decided to keep and sold in about a month. eBay store is Ray Nathan RZ09. Can you return things to the Goodwill or thrift stores? So Puffalumps, yes. Even this one looks fantastic. Look at it. Even without the glasses, um, people will pick these up. I probably would have ran an auction on that, but I know nothing about this guy. I've never seen him before. I have sold the little horse zebra multiple times, I think twice now, picked it up for less than a dollar both times. I want to say I sold it in the 60 to $70 range. You guys have seen it in my past videos, but Puffalumps, they have like this nylon feeling to them, uh, kind of like a parachute material, and they will say Puffalump, pick them up. They are a bolo. So even though this one had issues, she still sold it for a nice profit. And she is a Bolo Buddies member, which means that she has joined memberships on my YouTube channel, this channel. If you go down and click the join button, there's three options to be uh, featured in this video where I pop up your eBay store like this and or your YouTube channel, if you have a YouTube channel, whichever you prefer. And then I also link you down in the description. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out down below. Not a requirement. It is just something you can do for perks. Anybody can share a bolo in the Facebook group and I will feature your bolo in this video. It's a great way to learn and help others learn. So thank you again to all that have shared. And thank you to all my members. I appreciate you guys. I really do. All right, here is another one from Ray Nathan RZ09. She said, K-pop NCT, oh boy, Hoya, Hua, Huya, Huya. H-U-Y-A, I don't know what that is. Super Idol League Weibo Plush Tiger. What is happening with this title? I have no idea, but it is a bolo. Anything with a weird title is probably gonna be a bolo. This has been up since 2021, so it is definitely a long tail item, but that doesn't matter because she made a nice profit. She said, I bought it because it looked different with the press play eye, also was well made well. Only found one Facebook with a K-pop star holding a signed one. Started at $79, went down to $69. After going back and forth, we settled at $49. I paid $0.99 cents at a thrift store, and this is what it looks like. Would you have picked it up or walked past it? I would have picked it up just because it's weird. Bratz World Families two-pack doll set, Yasmin and Mom Portia. This was my daughter's. I bought for her before she let me know I'm too old for dolls. Had up for three years, started at a 139, down to 59, then up to 84, going by the market competitive pricing. Buyer offered 67, declined. I said, I do 79, offered 65, I ignored. Then they paid full asking. So this was free to me, bought from Toys R Us in 2008, have been selling my daughter's dolls for a while, still have about three shoe boxes full. 
And this is also from Ray Nathan 09. And this is what it looks like. She's sold a lot of these on Mercari. But yeah, those Bratz dolls, if you can find them in the original packaging, they do really well. I paid 25 cents for this queen embroidery hoop at a little junk downtown junk store downtown. I knew from comps they were bolos. Started at auction to see how high it would go. Bids starting coming in on the second day. Happy, happy dance. Thank you for all your help, Courtney. And I think I had one of these in last month's video also. So, wow, another embroidery hoop. Vintage queen wood embroidery hoop, tension wheel, felt lined, collectible, hard to find, $344.99. Got it at a thrift store, a junk store. So I think that's different than a thrift store. A junk store for 25 cents. 25 cents into $344.99. Now that is a bolo. Found in the trash, listed for $125, cross-posted, sold on Mercari in less than two weeks, took an offer of $100. I used photo room to get the firecracker backdrop, America, home of the free stuff. So Jerry is a curbside picker. If you missed my last This Is My Bolo video, you got to go watch it. I will link it down below. You got to see what this man pulled out of the trash can. He sent me footage of him digging in a trash can and getting this weird bolo out of the trash. Go watch that video. But anyway, this is vintage Uncle Sam blow mold. And he got it from the curb, free, uh, trash picking. Sold it for a hundred bucks, and that's what it looks like. Any blow mold, pick them up. Paid four dollars and twenty-eight cents, and had listed for a hundred and ninety-nine, or I'm sorry, one hundred dollars and ninety-nine cents plus shipping. Someone sent me an offer of seventy-five plus fifteen shipping, and I took that offer. It is a Lexmark print system. Is, I think maybe it's printer ink. I've just got a photo here. I'm not sure which platform they sold it on. But uh, yeah, any printer ink, definitely look it up. Every once in a while, I actually purchase the things I sell. This is from Jerry again. And he is Jersey Shore Thrifter. He said, they don't all come from the trash. I bought four of these Sony Walkman sport headphone radios at an estate sale. I paid $1.50 each. This is the second one I sold. I got 35 each and this one sold on Mercari. So this is what it looks like. I'm sorry. I picked up this battery charger three days ago at a church rummage sale for a dollar. My quick pre-purchase comps check showed comps sold around 35. When I got it home, a closer look showed that this model, a 24 volt charger, had been selling for closer to 70. The $35 models were all 12 volt. There were currently no 12 volt models listed. I jacked up my price to $109.99 and sold it in less than two days for full price plus shipping. Jerry, I would have jacked up my price too. <laughs> All right, it is a Deltrin waterproof battery tender power 24 volt charger amp. And I like to give Jersey Shore Thrifter a hard time. Um, so just joking around with him there. Okay, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member, eBay store Impressions Created. And she is a Bolo Buddies member. She said, I found these at the free table at the auction warehouse. Wasn't sure what they were. Turns out they are for keeping score, probably for card games. Listed at $39.99, sent out offers to watchers for $33, which was accepted. But she asked to use a coupon too. So I sent her an invoice for $30. She paid. FYI, 20% off coupon this month. Okay, she's selling it. She's selling her coupon. Not really selling her coupon. She is uh, advertising her coupon. So Impressions created 20% off her store this month with her coupon. So go and give her a follow. She's linked down below. This is a antique game scorecard, counter wood replacement. Check that out. Pretty cool. And this also comes from Impressions Created. This was my second item off the free table at a book, off the free table, a book with dust cover written in 1973. This ended up being a rare book. The only one like it was on Amazon for over a thousand. Ah! 
yeah, Worth Point has one selling for $200 and one for $70. I listed at $699, but I was sent an offer for $250 and took it. Was worried if I countered, I'd lose the sale. Got to pay some bills. I'm with you on that. Um, and really, it looks like Worth Point was saying $270. $200 and $70. So $250 was above the Worth Point comp. So that's really good. You guys, if you're not using Worth Point, I do have videos that show you how to use it. It really, really helps when you can't find sold comps on eBay or Terapeak. So definitely check out some of my Worth Point videos. I'll try to remember to link them down below, but you can always type in Bolo Buddies Worth Point into the YouTube search bar and it will pull those up. And I show you how I have used Worth Point to make more money and why I feel like it's worth it for me. This one comes from a rural squirrel and this is her YouTube channel. Check her out. She does a lot of Goodwill Bins videos where she digs through the bins and she does a lot of collaboration videos like challenges with other YouTubers and stuff like that. So you guys will really, really enjoy her fun personality and she just has great a great channel. So sub her up, I'll link her down below. Hey, Courtney, I'm pretty excited about these boots. I got at the Denver Benz. I paid $1.59 a pound for them, and they weighed four and a half pounds. But the, this brand is a big bolo. Whites. Never heard of it. Whites. I only had these listed a few days before I accepted a best offer of $300. It's the first time I found this brand, but I will definitely be watching for whites from now on. This is what they look like. I wonder if they're vintage. They look kind of old. And look at that weird heel. Would you? Would you have picked them up or would you have walked right past them? Let me know in the comments. Kitty, kitty, kitten. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. These are definitely a bolo. Uh, priced according to highest sold comp. Took an offer of 63. Sold within 30 days of listing. Kitty is perfect condition. And that purr is fascinating and ingenious. Thank you, Bolo Buddies. Wouldn't have known to look for these. Uh, yeah, I've talked about these a lot in my videos. I have sold these. What I do with these is I typically try an auction first, and I will tell you why. There are so many different variations of these kitty cats. They are super hard to find. Hers, the actual purr still worked. A lot of them, they don't. Um, so I would recommend doing a auction. I would start it at a high price, probably like $99 is what I would do. And if it doesn't sell, then I would do a buy it now or best offer. But start it high. It doesn't hurt to try an auction. And if it doesn't sell, just do a buy it now. There's nothing lost other than the seven days of waiting to see if it's going to sell. If there are two or three people that are looking for this particular item and there are no others listed, even if it sold for a lower sold price before, if there's none listed, you may just end up getting a bidding war, which is going to bring up the value and increase what you're gonna get for your item. So that is what I do for these harder to find items. And she said she did look at comps and priced accordingly. So that is also a great thing to do. But if it is something that is hard to find and there's no others listed, definitely try that auction feature first. That's just my opinion. I got these free from a former leader trying to declutter. Sold in two hours for asking price of $45.50. It is a vintage Girl Scout Studio 2B lot of four charms and pin on the road. $45.50 for that. Look at it. Would you have known? Would you have known? <laughs> All right. This one comes from Stellar Seller Sam. She is a Bolo Buddies member and this is her YouTube channel. You got to go sub her up. She's fantastic. She has reseller content and she is a bolo finder. She said, I look over a lot of silver looking dishes when I'm out thrifting. Much of it seems worthless to try to resell. And that is true. She said, I happened to look up comps for this one. I found at the Goodwill for $4. It was um, Leonard Silver Ice Chiller. Person was all in for 88 and it sold within a month. There you go. I believe it is, yep, silver plate. It's a champagne bucket. Bucket urn or uh, wine ice chiller. So she's got a lot of keywords in the title. So it has multiple uses for sure. Oh boy, I love this one. 
Full circle dress, oh my goodness, offers within 10 minutes of listing. Yep, for sure. Sold within two hours for full price. Went to China, I believe, via eBay international shipping. Pristine condition, except for sleeve elastic, no longer had much stretch. Thanks, Bolo Buddies, would have passed this up. Yep, this is another one that I have talked about a lot. I actually have a video on uh, toddler dresses in particular that sell for big money. One thing that you want to do is what she did is you want to lay it out in a full circle look just like this. See how it's kind of standing up and has the full circle? People look for that. You also want to put full circle in your title. She sold this for $324.99 and she got this at the Salvation Army for $1.76. It is by Sweet and Sassy. It is a pink sheer lace full circle ruffles pageant dress. Great title, great photo, bam. Bear's Hat was has taken about a year to sell, listed it much higher, 299, 199, but was based on grailed comps. Finally took an offer for 100. Cream color was rare, but that hat had a tiny hole on top. And then she said golf balls, not big bolo, but super easy to list and ship. Cans had damage to logo image due to SA using packaging tape to secure them together. I'm really confused on this one. Are the golf balls in the can? Huh. Okay. So the bear's hat looks like this and sold for a hundred. She got it at a yard sale for 50 cents and the Dr. Pepper logo golf ball can sold for $39.96. And where'd she say she got that? She didn't. Oh yes, she did. Paid a dollar and per can at the Salvation Army. And that's what it looks like. And it looks like they bought two. So that's something I didn't know about. So she made a good point here. She talked about the Bears hat selling for much higher on Grailed. Is anybody selling on Grailed? What has been your experience? Um, I currently use List Perfectly and I cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. I have, um, what's the other one? I have listed to Grailed. I have not listed to Depop, but I kind of quit. I did sell some stuff on there, but it was just too much. You know, with me having my YouTube videos and I'm doing whatnot and I'm selling on Poshmark and Mercari and eBay, I was doing Etsy and Grailed and Facebook Marketplace. Those three, I just kind of stopped. But I will tell you that List Perfectly is great for cross-posting. If you're not a YouTuber and you don't have tons of time, like I spend so much time on YouTube, I'm doing a video a day and each video takes me approximately two to three hours. So you can imagine how much time that takes. So that is less time I have to list and cross post. So what I do is I focus on three platforms and now my fourth platform is whatnot, but that's a totally different, um, totally different. But anyway, if you're thinking about getting on other platforms and you want to do it quickly, you can cross post with List Perfectly. I have a demo video down below. You can get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. Check it out down below. See if it'll work for you. There's like 10 or 12 different platforms you can cross post to. It's incredible. Uh, just incredible. The technology is just amazing. I've been using it since 2019. Also, I'm selling on Whatnot. If you guys are not utilizing that platform, I highly recommend it. I love it. I do have a referral sellers link down below. If you click on that link, if you're already like buying on Whatnot and you want to sell, you can use that link and it will tell them that Bolo Buddies referred you and you may get accepted quicker. So check that out. Um, if you're not on Whatnot at all, oh my goodness, it's a great place to source and it is also so much fun. So use my referral link. It's down below. Um, you will get, get $15 to shop with my referral link. Come follow me on Bolo Buddies over there. That'll take you over to me. And I am doing auctions and it is so fun and I'm selling tons and tons of jewelry. I have all of these incredible brooches coming soon. So um, I hope to see you at a show. Even if you don't buy, just come hang out and watch. Check it out. It may be something that you are going to want to get into yourself. I mean, we're all resellers here, right? So we like to source cheap. We like to buy things to resell. We like to sell things. So why not check out a new app, right? Check out Whatnot. I love it. All right, you guys. Let's do... 
actually, let's stop here. More to come. Stay tuned. This is a whole series. Um, I leave this post up all month and I do videos about it. So come share a bolo. If you're not in the Bolo Buddies Facebook group, it looks like this and you can share a bolo under, go to the featured section that's at the top. You may have to like scroll over to the side um, and look for the best June post because right now we're doing May. That's what you're seeing right now. So June is probably up now. So go share a bolo, show us your best bolo. Tell us where you got it, what you paid for it and what it sold for with a screenshot and I will feature it in a video just like this. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching. And I'm gonna try to keep my head tilted this way so you don't get the glare. <laughs> All right, you guys.